So you're wanting to start a YouTube channel in 2022. Let's talk about the things you need to focus on when doing that. My name's Zach, I've been doing YouTube for the last 10 years. By no means am I an incredibly successful YouTuber, but I feel like I've had a lot of time behind the wheel playing on this platform, growing out a channel, learning about metrics and numbers, and now I wanna share this stuff with you. Number one, quality is not as important as entertainment. YouTube is still a platform where entertainment and story reigns supreme which is really amazing. You don't have to focus a lot on big, crazy camera gears, the most insane lighting. Yes, you're probably watching this in this, this video is shot on a Sony a7S Mark III with a big like softbox thing, cool lights in the back. But to be honest, you don't need any of those things. In fact, there's a great saying, which is the best camera, which is the one that's always with you. And if you're starting a vlog or perhaps even just doing a tutorial channel, you'll wanna have a camera that is accessible to you and that you're not like fiddling around trying to figure out. I would highly recommend just using what you have and just explore the aspect of storytelling. If there is something technical you should focus on for building this channel out, it's editing and good sound. A clean edit and clear audio can go miles. Good camera quality is sort of like not really that important. Most cameras shoot pretty good quality. If you have a cell phone from 2019 onward, you, chances are you can shoot 4K, HD, it's amazing, you're great, you're totally fine. If you're wondering about editing software to use, you also don't need really pro software. A lot of consumer grade software is really good and you don't need the latest pro Hollywood editing software. You can do stuff with iMovie if you have a Mac or whatever sort of internal editing software that your computer comes with. There's even platforms like Filmora that has a lot more affordable editing software and I would recommend diving into learning the basics of editing before breaking the bank with some sort of pro software. The next thing, analytics, engagement, and consistency. These are all words that sort of bounce around probably your head a lot when you're wanting to think of making like a successful YouTube channel. Success in my head, at least for your first year ramp up, is not necessarily about gaining thousands and millions of views. Well, if you can do that, that's amazing. But what I really recommend you focus on is authenticity. So how do you be authentic on a platform that is over influenced and more importantly, pretty unoriginal? There's millions and billions and probably trillions of videos. How do you stand out from the crowd? And also how do you still stay authentic? The first one is to understand what you're making a channel about. And most importantly, it's to understand why you're making a channel. So for example, I have a filmmaking channel. I teach how to make movies. That's what I'm doing. But the better question is, why am I doing it? What is the thing that propels me and gets me going? Because if I can figure out what that is, that's actually very unique and very original. And I can use that as sort of my glue for whatever videos I move forward with. I'll paint a picture for you. If I look at a famous YouTuber for some sort of inspiration for one of my videos, and I go, okay, they are a filmmaker who teaches tutorials, I'm gonna steal their concept and make something similar. If I steal what they do and am motivated from why they do what they do, I'm not really feeling authentic. I'm not gonna feel motivated or creative because I'm stealing their why. I'm stealing why they're doing what they're doing. Best thing I can do is create my own original foundations for understanding why I wanna do what I'm doing. Why I make films is to escape. It's to explore and it's to express myself. And that's because for a very long time growing up, I didn't have a lot of opportunities to do that. And film was one of the few avenues where I could experience a lot of those feelings. And so doing that on YouTube and doing it to an audience is just amplifying that feeling. So when it comes to your channel, take the concept that you're trying to do, whether it's a channel about teaching people graphic design, a travel vlog, maybe you guys have just bought a van and you wanna do like a van life thing, figure out why you're doing it because the what is pretty simple. And if you were to categorize yourself by what's and interest, you're pretty unoriginal. Figuring out what your motivation is, is really going to be the key tool that gets you up out of bed and really motivates you to make these videos. 
I have gone down the slippery slope with this channel specifically, starting to create content for reasons that don't satisfy my why and more or less just check the box off for my what and I felt burnt out doing it. If you're wanting to start strong, make a channel about something that's true to you. Another thing is to make money doing your YouTube channel, right? You wanna be able to make this sustainable financially, right? Well, the best way to do that is brand partnerships to start off with and your channel really doesn't actually need a lot of followers followers to get brand partnerships because brands are more focused on quality viewers rather than quantity viewers. So remember that if you have some like a few quality viewers or hardcore supporters of what you're doing, that always triumphs millions and billions of viewers which leads me into the sponsor of this video, which is Cuts. Cuts is this amazing clothing company uh, for men's clothes. I've been wearing uh, this super smooth, silky, comfortable shirt. I honestly, I don't know when I take this shirt off. I'd highly recommend the selection that they have. If you use the promo code in the description below, you guys can get a discount at checkout. YouTube is a space filled with shiny objects. There's a lot of really beautiful books with nice covers and it's easy to judge them. Those are the thumbnails, those are the successful YouTube channels and chances are you probably watch one of them and that's what has inspired you to do a YouTube channel. And that's okay, it's really cool to have idols and people who are really cool in the space that have inspired you. What can end up happening though is we take their success metrics and we take what they're doing and try and do our own adaptation of that. And what can end up happening is it's a slippery slope into feeling like you're just comparing yourself to them. And what's even worse is when other people compare you to your idol. And that is not a fun thing. I've also gone down that route early on in my YouTube career and it's it's it sucks. You're basing things off of comparison and copying and comparison is the thief of joy. And the last thing you want is for the joy to be robbed from you doing this new, cool, exciting pursuit. You also don't wanna build a channel off of something you think would just do well. There's a lot of creatives out there, yours truly as well, who have delved down the things that work well as being successful. Making videos about things to gain views and, and an audience. And why this can be bad is you can build your audience, you can build the eyeballs, and you can build the success of your channel only to not really like what you're doing. And then you start talking about stuff that doesn't feel right to you. And you have now a bunch of eyeballs on you, hoping for you to release something about that thing but it doesn't feel right to you. Maybe you decided to start making a YouTube channel about guitar tutorials because you're decent at guitar and people need to watch tutorials on playing guitar and so you build an entire channel around that and then you realize that you don't like talking about it. That's worse than actually having no followers is having followers for something that you don't like talking about. So if there's one thing to do, choose the thing that you really dig and how you can choose that is find something that one, it gets you up out of bed and it's exciting, it roots down to your why, and the final thing is, it's something that you could talk nonstop about until your throat goes dry, the sun sets and rises, and someone's like, okay, stop. And the final thing is do it for you. Do this channel because you want to do it, not because you think other people want to see this, not because your hero that you look up to would want to see you do this thing or that you want to be recognized by someone or you want to satisfy someone else. Do this because it feels good for you to do. And that's, I'd say, one of the most important things to keep in mind on this journey because you're essentially creating a new business, a new job, a new responsibility. And while yes, it's a fun thing and it's something exciting, there are responsibilities to do these videos because there is a common theme that you'll hear a lot of people say is that consistency is the way to, to do the YouTube thing and to be successful, you have to be consistent, but it's really hard to be consistent when you're making stuff not for yourself, but really you're doing it for other people because that's that's what a job is. And that is it for my rambling. Guys, thank you so much for listening and tuning into this video. Um, a lot of this is spoken from experience. A lot of it is how I'm feeling right now with where my channel's at. And if there's anything that you can take from this, it is just to be yourself, to be authentic with your motives. And that's, that's why people wanna watch you. And trust me, there isn't, if you feel cool, if you feel motivated to do this, then there are other people who want to hear your motivation and why you're doing it. Not the same thing repeated over from someone else. 
that's all I got to say. I mean, I could probably go on and on and on and on and on about it, but those are sort of the things that are at the tip top of the list. If you like what I'm talking about and want to join me more on this journey, um, I'd absolutely love your support. You know what to do. There's some stuff. Um, and also I want you to comment on this video so I can see your channel. And if you're starting out your channel, put it in in the first few comments that will come into the feed. I promise I will take a look at your first video or your first few videos that you've posted in this new year and that will help hold you accountable. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send you some love. So I would love to see the stuff that you're making and that's it guys, have a great time doing this. This is probably one of the most rewarding things um, I've ever done as a creative. Uh, I've learned so much in this process, everything from how to make videos like lighting and camera set it, set up some placement and also experimentation, how to be behind camera, how to be in front of camera. And uh, yeah, it's also taken me around the world and met some absolutely unbelievable people. But the linchpin to all of that has always been to be true and authentic to myself.